As I, I started thinking about what am I going to do with this externship, the goal was to try and bring back uh, the work experience um, in many different careers back to my classroom so that there's not just one path, there's many. The externship program started uh, two years ago. Three days a week they'd come down here and work with us on uh, design problems and two days a week we'd place them in an externship with a firm, with a mentor. They all had things they needed to know. Uh, an architecture teacher wanted to know if she was correct in just teaching drafting or if she was going to see that in a new architecture firm. The teacher who's talking to his students about in workforce development wanted to know how companies worked with the trades and where the jobs were and, and how people came there. I wanted to try and bring um, a realistic, real view um, of what is going on in industry and in the workplace today and uh, kind of like a fly on the wall and, and, and glean what I can and bring that back to my students um, next year. We start off with him sitting down with me for the first three hours and just talking, finding out who we are, uh, common values, common goals. Then we take him through and introduce him to the team. Uh, every, everybody from the county department to my, the general manager to the bullpen where all the project managers are. Then we take him to job site, or for example, here in the building and show him around and, and kind of t talk him through. These are the steps of how we you know, create our business life. Yeah, I mean, it, there is a lot of different uh different people that go into this and, and they're specialized and you know the reason they're specialized and they only do one thing is they can go and get really good at one thing and go a lot faster. Right. I interestingly enough um, started uh, out of high school in construction so coming in after you know many years out of the trades and, and you know I've been teaching now for um, 19 years it was very different. Um, these people are just amazing. Uh, the love that they have for each and every one of the people and employees here is just, you know, it, it, it just exudes, you know. The kernel of truth that, that I've kind of walked away with is walk your values. You know, it's be who you are. And if you can take that integrity with you to the job place, it is very valuable. In my journey through school and through, through work, it's, I think it's all about communication. Um, and just teaching yourself and learning from others and, and teamwork is a huge component of, of the job. Uh, this is the second year I've had an instructor uh, come in and, and uh, come into my office and we talk about business and world and values and, and how he could apply that to uh, his students in his, in his program. It's been, been very beneficial because I've gotten to see the picture of many different individual people. You know, that's kind of been my task. We talk about soft skills and, and skills that, that you need in every job and that can enable you to have success. Um, over time, I've become more management focused, which means I have to deal with the day in, day out, and sort of the, the ongoing, if you will. Uh, but initially, um, my skills were more geared towards uh, projects and, and projects, project based learning, I think. And going back next year, I have uh, uh, a lot of energy to what I want to bring back to my class, to show these videos, to give my students a, a real-life um, perspective of what is possible. Again, uh, the substance, uh, your values are, are what are ingrained in you. Uh, the belief in your, in your, in your self-worth, if, you if you gain that, that exudes that people will be attracted to you. We got into conversations about giving back and about you know what um, CCI is about, and we talked about you know how valuable it would be for Victor, being who he is and his story, how powerful that would be for him to come into my classroom, and he was all about it, you know, and he's he's asked his other employees to, to join him, but uh, to give back and, and show students that. Uh, you know, a minority. I grew up in a, uh, the farm community. And I came here as a, a laborer and worked my way all the way to uh, ownership. And uh, what a passion. I, I love this stuff. So if I can give that back to a student or people who don't feel like they can, can't do it, you can. You apply yourself and you get people like Joel to help shore that up. That's the success of being a teacher.